Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Clinical Talks. Today I am going to introduce a new session. The session name is Play and Learn. Before starting the game, the basic thing you should know. Let's discuss the course number zero. The most important organ in our body is brain, heart, and lungs. The brains control the many processes in the body and essentially contain our personalities. Keeping the brain alive is our main concern. The second one is the heart. The heart pumps blood throughout the body and with its oxygen and other substances. And last one is the lungs. In the lungs, the blood pumped by the heart is saturated with the oxygen and releases the carbon dioxide. Brain, this organ is extremely vulnerable without oxygenation. Irreversible damage is occur within five to seven minutes. The brain is responsible for many functions. It is the important for us to know the respiratory center, which is located in the brains, and gives command to inhale and exhale. Turn off soon as after the brain begins the lack of oxygen. Therefore, it is necessary to monitor the patient's breathing and in his absence to perform the artificial respirations. The second one is the lungs. The function of the lungs is gas exchange occur in the lungs throughout the thin walls of alveoli and capillaries. The oxygen enter the blood streams and carbon dioxide from the blood enter to the lungs and exhale. Many things affect this process. The oxygen concentrations in the inhaled air is 21% because of 21% oxygen in the atmosphere air. Second one is the airway state, third lung disease and blood pressure. More about lungs we will discuss later. Let's discuss about the heart. You can see the numbering 1 and 2. The one number is 2 atrial which is showing the blue, light blue in color and second one two ventricles which is showing the red in color. We will test the pericardium and myocardium on the following course. We will not talk about the blood circulations at all. Just remember the mainly function of ventricular is the pumping the blood. Even if the non functions atrials, a patient can be alive. If any problems in atrials or not able to pump the atrials, also patient can be alive if ventricular is intact. Let's expose the cardiac conduction system. You can see the number 1, number 2 and number 3. The cardiac conduction system is responsible for the generations and transmission of electrical signals that cause the heart to contract. Normally, impulse is generated number 1. You can see the number 1 is called AC nodes or sinoatrial nodes. The impulse is generated in the number 1 or AC nodes. Then spread throughout the hearts. First, the atrial contractions occur. Then impulse is slightly delayed in number 2. Number 2 is called AV nodes. Then pass toward the number 3. Number 3 is called the Purkinje's fiber which cause a reduction in ventricles. In the case of SA nodes does not work or sinoatrial nodes does not work, impulse are generated by the AV nodes or even the Purkinje's fiber. If number 1 is, does not work, number 2 and number 3 also can occur the or generate the impulse. Cell of the cardiac conduction system have such a property, they generate impulse at certain intervals of the times. The number one, the SA node, the sinoatrial nodes has the highest generation frequency. Second one, AV node, around 60 pulse and finally number three, percussion fiber, around 40 pulse per minute can be generated. Since the frequency of the impulse, number one, SA nodes is greater, the impulse passing from the depolarize the remaining cells and prevent them from the generation their impulse. But as soon as the acid turns off, the AV nodes start generating pulse within our frequency. But simply, if number 1 or SA node does not work, impulse can be generated through the 
नंबर टू और ए बी नॉट्स लेट्स डिस्कस मोर डिटेल द पीपल हैव वे टू मॉनिटर द इम्पल्स इन द हार्ट विच इज कॉल्ड ई सी जी यू कैन सी दीड वन लीड टू लीड थ्री इन लीड वन इज लीड्स अटैच टू द राइट आर्म एंड लेफ्ट आर्म इन लीड टू यू कैन सी द राइट आर्म एंड लेफ्ट फूड एंड लीड थ्री लेफ्ट आर्म एंड लेफ्ट फूड ई सी जी इज टर्न आउट दैट If you connected two electrodes to the person hand, then they will receive the voltage from the impulse in the heart. In fact, it is possible to connect electrodes in different ways, measure a voltage between the arms and foot, and also place in the electrodes directly to chest. Such measurement are called ECG in different leads. For simplicity, we consider ECG only in the first leads between the Two arms, the right and left. Let's discuss basic ECG and electrical conduction system. You can see the heart pumping and electrical activity occur. First occur in the AC nodes, then go to the AV nodes, then peripheral fibers. You can also see the PQRST or ECGs when impulse generated to the A V notes the red mark show in the P waves. The P waves show the atrial contraction. Second Q R S complex is show the ventricular contraction. And last one is T wave. T wave shows the ventricular relaxation. When the signal does to the electrodes, we see the positive voltage. Let's discuss further. You can see the two different E C Gs. First one is the sinus rhythm, and second one is the atrial fibrillation. What do you mean by the sinus rhythm? Sinus rhythm. The normally heart rhythms when its impulse come out of the AC node or sinus nodes. The heart beat with the same frequency is called sinus rhythm. Many times you use the sinus tachycardia, sinus bradycardia. What do you mean by sinus? The sinus is sinus. It means impulse generated from the S N nodes or sinus node. Second E C G, atrial fibrillation. What is atrial fibrillation? It is the conditions of the heart in which the atria contract very often and erratically. It may occur due to the various reasons such as ischemia of the heart, multiple pulse shorts occur in the atria. In this case, the atrial and ventricular contract independently. In this case, the atrial and ventricular contract independently. In this state, the heart continues to perform the pumping functions. There is no threat of the life. Let us examine what is called cardiac arrest. These are the conditions in which the heart does not perform the pumping functions and perform very weakly. In fact, in the most case of the heart does not stop. The type of cardiac arrest. There is the ventricular fibrillations or ventricular tachycardia. VT and VF. Ninety percent of cases occur in VT and VF, and seven percent cases of occur or systole, and many times occur electromechanical dissociations. It is rare condition. We will not discuss in this game. On the screen, you can see the two ECGs. First one is the ventricular fibrillations, and second one is the ventricular tachycardia. Ventricular fibrillations is chaotic contractions of the ventricular regions. Without the real pericarditions of the blood, these conditions may occur due to the exertions of the heart resource due to the ischemia. In ventricular fibrillations, electrical activity you can see the ECG, but there is no any pulse, no any ventricular contractions occur. The multiple impulse circulate in the ventricles, and the heart does not work simultaneously. The heart failure, and second ECG ventricular tachycardia. The tachycardia of ventricles is similar in conditions. Usually, the initial stage of the fibrillation. It is necessary to take urgent measures. And last one is the flatline ECG or asystole. Asystole is the condition in which there is no electrical activity in the heart. On the ECG, we see the line with the ventricular fibrillations. The heart does not pump. The heart resource drops further. And the rhythm turns into the asystole.
the chance of saving patients with the fistula are much lower than the patient with ventricular fibrillations now to cope with the ventricular fibrillations defibrillations is very needed and last one as soon as after the fibrillations and tachycardia the ventricular begins it is necessary to start the cpr immediately start the cpr and give the drugs normally we use the adrenaline a little about the blood and blood pressure there are two main characteristic that you need to know blood pressure is the pressure in the arteries there is a systolic at the time of the contraction of the heart and diastolic at the moment between the heart beat the normal pressure is 120 to 80 mm above kg the systolic is 120 and diastolic 80 but different people may be different the arterial blood circulations with the oxygen or oxygenation or spo2 it is measured using the pulse oximeter attached to the finger or ear it means blood saturation with the oxygen remember the normal rate is 95 to 99 below the 90% of saturation is the very problem below the 60 it can cause loss of consciousness with this value of spo2 organ first of all heart and brain begin slowly die before we go to the algorithm of the help remember the important things of perfusions depend on the pressures if the pressures below the 60 by 40 perfusion is worsen with the pressure of 20 by 10 the blood does not enter the organ at all the lungs with such as pressure do not exchange the oxygen with the blood because of saturation will quickly fall when cardiac arrest the pressure drop rapidly therefore with indirect heart massage always try to swing so as maintain the pressure and use adrenaline more often it constrict the blood vessels and increase the pressure never let pressure fall pressure also drop with the decrease the blood volume let's discuss about the game in this game all essentials state disease are divided into the critical and non critical non critical if it is critical it is necessary to take patient to the hospital if it is uncritical you can provide the help and let patient at home this saves the time the main thing is not wrong with the diagnosis let's play the game in the next video thank you for the watching this video